measuring 4 kilometers wide and 250 meters deep. The sprawling Awaba crater is one of Saudi Arabia's most dramatic natural wonders, a vast hollow with an opaque lake at each art. Carved into the western edge of the Hafer KISHB basalt plateau, the crater is around 250 km and a two-hour drive north of Taif, or about a four-hour drive from Jeddah. The lunar-like landscape offers a near-otherworldly experience for those who come to climb it, complete with glorious views over the desert from the crater's rim. But as wonderful as the views are from above, the real magic happens when you climb down into the heart of the crater. In the center of the bowl, you'll find white sodium phosphate crystals that create a glittering crust visible from the sky. The salt bed transforms into a pearly lake whenever rain gathers in the hollow, fringed by the shrubs and palms that dot the crater's rim. A dried lava field can also be seen snaking away from the northern edge of the hollow. The crater was once thought to have been formed by a meteorite crashing to Earth, but research by geologists in the 1960s revealed Alwaba to be a Mar crater. These shallow hollows are caused by volcanic eruptions that occur when groundwater comes into contact with hot lava. It takes a person 45 to 60 minutes to go to the bottom of the crater. This crater is very slippery and it is hard for people to come up to the surface. To climb back up takes approximately 60 to 90 minutes. There is some mobile phone signal within the crater, and the site receives very few visitors, even over weekends. As of April 2017, there has been upgrades to the park. A stone wall has been erected about one quarter to one third of the crater rim from the northwest to southwest. There is a mosque at the end of the entrance road. There are also upgraded picnic shelters around the rim.